hello everyone uh, welcome to my channel in this video i'll show you two notes that i have added to the animation notes and extra notes is the texture fall off node and marching squares node i'll also break down my project files and show you how you can use uh, these nodes in practical examples so let's get start first i'll show you the texture fall off node let's delete this marching squares node okay and you can see my keys in this section so with this uh, texture fall off node i have also updated uh, the texture input node now it has if we go to end panel it has this transformation input that allow you to basically offset the input locations like uh, you can offset them rotate them or scale them and it works like a mapping node as we have in the uh, shader nodes and i have also added the uh, new in uh, output in this node is the color intensity of uh, the texture so you don't need to combine the colors to get the color intensity so we have this texture fall off node and it has these modes color intensity red green blue and alpha so let's create a new texture let's maybe a cloud now to see this uh, the function of this uh, texture fall off node let's uh, create uh, distribution of grid points and then we can offset these vectors with this texture fall off node and let's uh, select our texture and to see these vectors we going to use this 3d viewer node we have so right now there is uh, no effect on these uh, points because in the uh, for the internal textures if you see the information in and this node is the internal texture alpha basically act as intensity and for external texture the alpha is equal to alpha so we have to change this alpha this intensity to alpha and now we have these offset vectors so with this transformation we can offset the um, points this grid points where this texture is evaluated for the fall off so let's scale down this and you can animate z axis to animate this texture fall off so in, and it is more handy if we use external texture so let's add uh, the external texture so let's add this high texture and now change this to color intensity and if i may okay if i disconnect this and you may see that there are multiple copies or repetition of this texture even if we set this mapping to just extend still there uh, means there is mismatch between the size of the grid and the this texture so we can use this transformation input to offset the scale of this texture so this is the purpose of this on uh, this input uh, a transmission input and uh, it is basically work as a mapping node as we have in the 
uh, shader nodes and you can choose any mode to display or to offset the points with this texture file of node and that's it for the this texture file of node now i'll show you the marching square node let's delete these so you can uh, find the marching squares uh, node in the uh, this mesh category then go to operators and you have marching squares node so if you don't uh, don't know about the marching squares then if you search for in the google for the marching squares so the idea is we define a grid and at each grid point we uh, define a value means based on a function or a texture or in our case uh, based on the fall off because fall off is very easy to use so now uh, we have values for each uh, grid points based on our texture say and we want to draw a contour around those points which means has a values greater than our uh, defined threshold value so in this case these a contour is drawn around black points so this is the idea behind the marching squares node so now we have uh, this uh, grid settings means divisions x division y divisions and the length and you can also change uh, to this uh, step mode so to see the grid you can enable the this grid points output and if i connect uh, the sorry if i connect the 3d viewer node you can see the grid points okay let's make this 30 so these are the grid points on which this fall off is going to evaluated for to calculate the contours and it output uh, on this mesh and to see that we have to assign this mesh uh, to object and you can also directly convert this mesh uh, to a splines but this version of this matching square nodes output uh, disconnected edges so either you can convert this uh, mesh to a b mesh then remove the doubles or you can use uh, a weld modifier to uh, to join these those edges and now it is join and let bring the mesh back from this object enable the this use modifier and press u then enable the edge indices so we can convert these edges to a splines spline per branch and we can align these nodes with shift w sorry shift e and press dependent and then we need this kind of object output node and we have nothing the reason for that is we have a constant of this fall off so we need uh, some varying fall off so let's add uh, this noise fall off and connect to this to this fall off input and now we have we can hide this mesh output now we have this uh, line and uh, this contour line and if I increase the frequency we have more contours and they are based on this threshold value so this uh, threshold is uh, not a single value it is a list 
so you can uh, means give a, you can give multiple uh, values for threshold to generate uh, multiple contours so let's change the mode to be uh, this cellular and maybe 35 and now if i add a float list for the thresholds let's make this 2.5 and let's increase this okay so you have this double contours so you can add n number of uh, threshold values and i have also added uh, one more on this input is the grid offset so this and this option is allow you to offset on the grid this scanning grid for this marching squares so if i change the this c axis you can see we are scanning the different region of the uh, noise is to create a uh, this mri effect so it is very uh, simple to use this marching squares node that's it for this marching squares node now i'll show you my project files okay so here i'm using the noise file of for marching squares node then same setup to convert this uh, mesh to a spline and but i have also added this grid mesh with the same uh, divisions and this uh, length and width and offset with the same uh, fall off so we get this kind of uh, effect uh, with this uh, node setup another example is this is the example where i have uh, drawn these uh, contours around this uh, text so i convert this text to a uh, this curve then use these splines as a follow up for this marching squares node and based on that i have drawn these contours and then i have also animated one of the values for thresholds so and the last example is so here i used a uh, texture fall off so based on that marching squares node has uh, generated these contour and these uh, contours are following the underlying texture with uh, this animation so there are many possibilities you can use this marching squares node and i hope you like this work and please do support me and subscribe to my channel for more updates and also like this video and share this video so that other people can find this and until next time happy noding bye